Hey everybody, welcome back. Before we begin, what I really want to talk about is what you can expect in this course. There are some courses where it's just video courses uh, and it's a teacher talking at you, and I've made those courses before, and those are no longer acceptable. Uh, so I want to just sort of set the expectations for what this course is and what you're going to be able to get out of it. So the first thing you can expect from this course is code examples. Right, everything that I am going to be writing, whether it's in Sublime or right in the browser, I'm going to give you these code examples. So what you can expect, code examples. The second thing you can expect is, I don't want to call it homework, but they are sort of assignments. It's a way to practice everything that you will be learning. So we're going to go through 10, 15, 20 quick little courses and you're not going to actually do a lot of homework in those, but at the end of that module or at the end of a series of videos, we are going to have a little assignment. The assignments are not going to be difficult. They're not going to hurt your brain. They're not going to stress you out. They are purely designed to practice what you have been watching in the videos. And feel free to always go back and use any sort of interactive code examples again. So number two, what you can expect assignments. The third and last thing that you can expect from this course is access to our Facebook group. And this is a Facebook group of developers. It's been up for a couple of weeks already. Uh, and there's over 500 developers. Uh, perhaps by the time you're watching this, there will be thousands of developers in this group. But it's just a simple Facebook group where people can go and ask questions. So whether you're watching this on any platform, you can come and join our Facebook group and ask your questions in there. We're happy to answer them. We're happy to give you support. Uh, there are, again, hundreds, possibly thousands of developers that are willing to help you out at any given time. There's no additional marketing. You don't need to sign up. You don't need to give your email or anything like that. It's just a great place to go and ask your questions. So number three is our Facebook group. You can do a search on Facebook for learning to code. That's what the Facebook group is called. I'm going to create a link and put it in this document where you can download this document. You can view it. Uh, it's also going to either be in the comments or in additional downloadable content. So you can find the link in there, or you can just hop on Google, type in learning to code, and you should ideally find that Facebook group. 